Yeah, I just put here, I was building it, but the storm broke it up on me, and I can't, I can't see good anymore, so I don't think I'll be able to finish it. I had the sails on it and everything, but the storm broke it up on me. That was uh, Katrina. Katrina. That's, that's what happened to it. I got this little boat on my lap, but I, I want to show you the big boat I got. I got one 67 feet on it in the yard. Almost finished. But I don't know if I can finish it because I can't see no more. some more years, but he built boats all his life. And this here boat, we thought he'd have it finished and had it in the water, but my daughter passed away and he got depressed and he stopped. Now that he's older, he started it again, but he can't see. He's gone blind, but he'd love to get it in the water. But I'm going to try the best, let's put it that way. And if I can get my eyes, that's it. I don't need no help. I can do it by myself. You got to be smart to build a pool like that, without no blueprints or nothing. And you've seen, you can watch when I throw that boat up pretty it's going to be and how fast it's going to run, the way it's built. hoping that it gets in the water this year, you know, before another hurricane comes. We'd, we'd like no, to see well, it back in the water. That you can't count on. You don't know what's going to happen in life. Wyklosky is 30 miles from New Orleans. It's outside of the levees, and it's at the end I would say the end of the world, because that's where it's at. You can't go no farther. It's just water around us. My family's been here for a lot of generations, and we've seen a lot of changes in time. Before, we had a nice wilderness. Now we don't have that anymore. Water comes in too fast now. Every time they had a little storm, we never left. And then the storm started getting worse. They were getting tougher, you know? And Katrina was the worst we had. Katrina wiped them out. I mean, completely wiped them out. It looked like they threw a bomb here. When we came home, no houses. You know how, I mean, it's just like they threw a bomb and everything exploded, you know what I mean? They never had nothing. Katrina took everybody's house. I mean, everybody. And they didn't even want to come back. They never had nothing to come back to. They never even had a house. All their stuff was gone. They didn't even know where it went. It just went off. You know, there's not a piece of evidence of anything. It just all, it just all went away. <laughs> Our house floated, you know what I mean? It was just like a boat, and it just floated away. It didn't break up like the other houses because it was well built. My husband and his daddy built this house. The boat stood here. It did not move. It was tied down well, and it stood here. I, I didn't even want to go in the house. I didn't even want to look at it, you know? 
So they emptied it out over where it was, 350 feet from here. They emptied it all out. They brought back the shell. worked hard for this house. It was started in 48. 47, the foundation was started, but in 48, they was building it. When we first built this house, it was like five feet off the ground. That's what it was. And then uh, we raised it, you know, eight feet off the ground, and it still wasn't high enough. <laughs> but now it's about 15 feet off the ground. So we really, really, we're really up there. If a storm comes now, <laughs> and we get that much water, everybody better leave, you know, because I know New Orleans would get water again. This is what happens when you forget your photos. The mistake was, when we left for Hurricane Katrina, we picked up the wrong album. We had an empty one and a full one, and we took the empty one and left the full one back. We left a lot of stuff back. Now I have a backpack, and what I do is I put all my pictures in here. This time I'm not gonna forget them. I'm gonna have them with me all the time. And I got all my pictures in here that we had. We got pictures of my husband and I when he was going overseas in World War II. This is me when I was about six months old. And this is when we had our 50th anniversary. I didn't care too much about having anything because I had just lost my daughter. She had died. And this picture is my three kids when they were small. I thought I lost it for the hurricane and somebody got in the attic and they brought the box down. And I was amazed to see that we had our picture, you know, of the kids when they were small. I have Spencer, I have Richard, and Joy Lynn. She was a little baby. I don't have too many pictures of her, you know. But uh, I was so glad. I even cried when I got this picture. I really did. So this picture must be about 60 some one years old. You know, it's a long time. That's one thing you can't do. You can't replace what you lost. You know, and this is memories, good memories. Named after my daughter, Charlene. There's a second boat she had, that I had on her name. And we had a lot of good luck with the boat. It was a trophy winner, little Charlene. I think she's still living, you know. She was like. Because <laughs> I had bought our house. This, this was a house. Our house away belonged to her. I wasn't buying it again. generations will be here tomorrow. All my grandkids and my great grandkids and my great great grandkids. I'm going to be 71 years married tomorrow. We're going to have a big shrimp burrow and then we're going to have a cake and we have a friend of ours 
that he's going to come and give us our vows again, you know, asking us why we married 71 years, what's ahead of the future. I said, we married too long, <laughs> 71 years. So we're going to have a big celebration. This is going to be like Katrina. <laughs> it's going to be big. <laughs> I mean, did you think right then when you saw her that you wanted to marry her? Yes. She was beautiful. After all these years, I guess I'll stick with you. Thank you. 